you could all be here. I'm Curtis Peters. This is uh, Pam Peters, my wife, and we're two of the four partners. John and Mary Ann Gunther are also partners, and uh, they are not able to be with us tonight. Uh, David Ross Stevens and uh, Tricia Wentley, Wendy, and we're just so pleased. And they've done some shows together before. I wanted to say that most of my paintings that you see in these two galleries were painted in plain air, which means outside. Mm -hmm. And most all the watercolors were. And I just wanted you to know that much, especially this one here on the easel, the Fairscape was a combination. I went to the fair, of course, and got to go on all the rides, and then I went home and painted that one, but <laughs> I, I'll have to say that's the one that wasn't quite just outside. I approach uh, making art several different ways, <clears throat> and one is, uh, many of you might know that I, I have been a journalist, and so I have kind of a narrative streak in me, or storytelling, and so some of the pieces are very definitely trying to tell a story and, and therefore it's, their pieces are s symbolic. And two of the pieces fall in that category, this big one here, I don't, you, you can't say a person studied the art because art shouldn't be studied, but you do have to look at this one and think. And then the big one in the corner with the, with the bronze tips on it, is also another storytelling piece, and you get to tell your own story, but when you look at it, I'm not going to tell you. <clears throat> uh, but then there's another way I approach art sometimes, and that's to try to uh, accomplish making a pure line, uh, which I got from an old colleague, Paul Fields. He talked about pure lines. And this <clears throat> one that looks like a drop of water in here, I wasn't looking for is telling a story. I was looking for something just appealing to my eyeball. <clears throat> and then there's a third way uh, I have done art, and that's pure whimsy. And you look at something and you do it just for the hell of it. <laughs> and there's no story. Like it. So there's, there's two wooden uh, cherry wood pieces in the far gallery hanging on the wall. And they're pure whimsy for me. And you, if you find the narrative in there, find me af afterward and tell it to me very quietly. <laughs> but it's one of those that, to me, just didn't have any meaning. I just took a, made my mind blank, which is very easy for me to do. <laughs> one is of Ernie Pyle, and all you old people like me know who Ernie Pyle is, and I'm not even going to tell you who he is. He was very famous way back before. Some of us were born. <laughs> and then Lucy is going to go to the Carnegie down the street here in a few months. I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to do a portrait of him. So I did it and that, I took a bunch of pictures that day and then created that one in the studio. That was not plain air. Okay, but that's an acrylic. <laughs> and they were eating the strawberries so fast that they were gone by the time they were done playing and running around. <laughs> and it changes when I'm making it. I have an idea and then it, it kind of changes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, you're right. I, some things I don't start out with an idea. Most of the time I do. Yeah. And, and then it, it evolves, then it gets a life of its own, and does its own thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, when I started, this was the front. Oh, yeah. did it. Yeah, I wanted the sun, uh -huh. I wanted flames coming out of the sun. Yeah. And then when I made this part, this became the front, so <laughs> things changed. <laughs>